everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn this water cooler into this. A chicken water. For this project, you'll need a 5 16 drill bit, a drill, half inch PVC pipe. We bought this two foot section from Home Depot for just a few bucks. You'll need two water cups with the adapters, so two each, two male half inch couplers, two female half inch couplers, two half inch end caps, a measuring tape for measuring and a sharpie for marking your measurements, a half inch PVC T pipe, and then for the glue, the purple primer and the regular clear PVC cement. An option is some silicone uh, to go around the cup adapters. I highly recommend that though because the glue doesn't always seal. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the spigot from inside of the water container. Simple, easy peasy. That's kind of a no-brainer thing. But what you're going to want to keep after you get it off, you're want to keep these two things. You're, wanna, you're going to want to keep the spacer and the washer because that's going to come in handy later on. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is take your the washer and then the spacer. Now, if your jug does not come with a spacer, you're probably going to be all right because the washer should be good enough. But for this particular one, I needed to use both. So the, this one, the washer fits right into, I don't know if you can see, fits right snug into that spacer. And you're going to take your male um, half inch coupler, you're going to want to put it washer side in. And then it's going to go down into the hole of the water container. Okay, so now you're going to want to take that whole assembly and insert it down into the hole. And that's when you're going to attach the female adapter on the other side. Okay, so I have the female um, coupler and you see how it's threaded on the inside, which is perfect because it's going to thread right through. So I'm going to push on this side so I can tighten it down and you want to make sure you get it nice and snug because you don't want any water leakage. So I'm going to tighten that down. About hand tight, that should do it. And there you go. Okay, so you're done with the first step. Now it is time to take your half inch PVC pipe and you're going to measure it three inches. So just from the end down. You're gonna take it and you're gonna mark it so three inches and I'll kind of do it close to the camera so that way I can show you. <laughs> so get up close. Do -do -do -do. So we're at the three inch mark and you're gonna give it a little mark and that's where you're gonna cut it and all of the pipes that you're gonna do from now on, all of your, um, any of your half inch PVC pipes, they're all gonna be measured at three inches so that makes it really simple. So you can cut it different ways, easy peasy. If you have a pipe cutter, do it that way. Um, or you can do it in a vise with a handsaw. Or I like to use my miter saw because it's just fast, simple, boom, we're done. Okay, so I got all of my pipes cut. Look at them. <laughs> three inches for each one, you're only gonna need three. Um, and if there are any uh, little rough edges or any barbs or anything like that, you're gonna wanna sand them off so that way you get a really good tight seal when you go to glue. So I just got some really fine sandpaper and you just you know smooth it out, run it over. Um, so that, but yeah, our next step is gluing. All right, so what I like to use is, I do like to use uh, the purple primer before we use the PVC cement. It feels like it glues really better. And the first one we made, we only used the cement. And after a few months or so, um, I noticed that one of the 
one of the um, pipes actually worked its way loose and um, started leaking. So um, I had to redo it again on the pieces I could get apart and I used the primer this time. So this is the next step is gluing in this extender piece. Um, I go ahead and make sure everything is uh, nice and tight and what I'll do is I'll glue this piece in and then to do a water test to make sure everything is sealed, I'll just put one of the end caps on here, don't glue it on here, I just stick it on there and fill it up with water and see how it goes. But this is going to be the first piece that you glue. And so with the primer, you start with that first, let's move this over here, you want to get a very, very, very thin, thin coat, you don't want this goopy, you know, super runny. That just makes a mess, and I think it takes too long for it to uh, to set up as well. So you run a little bit around the rim of this piece that you're going to be pushing into the pipe, and then you're going to run some on the inside of this. And then I know it says that you uh, you let that dry. While that's drying, at least this is how we've done it. Um, pretty sure that's how the instructions say, but that's what we do, and it actually works fantastic. Um, so while that's kind of drying a little bit, I will take some of the glue and then I run it around this portion. And if you hear that sound, my husband just turned the tractor on out back. <laughs> then um, you're going to run a little bit more on the inside of that. And while that is actually still wet, that is when you insert your pipe. So we're going to go ahead and push this in. And we're gonna let it set and dry. And while it's drying, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so this is still setting up, which is wonderful. Um, so you're gonna take your T, like that, your half inch, everything's gotta be, you know, fitting. So half inch, half inch, half inch. Um, and we're gonna glue this on too. So you, at this point, you could take to make sure everything in here, you know, um, sealed up well. You could just pop a cap on here, um, like so. Don't glue it, just fill it up with water just to see how everything's doing all around. Um, you don't have to do that, but I do that because I just like, like to test each step. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. So let's glue the tea on. So again, we're gonna take our purple primer. Try to get off some of the excess because we do not want it goopy. And I'm going to run it around the pipe. And then I'm going to run it inside of my T. Set this off to the side. Stay. And then grab my glue. Again, we don't want it super goopy. That's just no need for that. A little goes a long way. Um, I'm blowing on it because it's a little bit wet right there. So I was going to try to dry that. It dries really fast, actually. So run your glue along there. Go ahead and take this. Run some more primer on the inside. And while it is still wet, you want to go ahead and put it on. But here's the thing. You want to make sure when you put it on, you want to give it wet level. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You want to put this on, and you want to try to make sure it is level. So as you slide it on, it sets up pretty fast. So as you slide it on, I want to try to look at this and make sure it's level. Eyeball it. I mean, if you want to go like to the extreme, you could put a level on it and everything, but no need for that. All right. Now we're going to let that set and we're going to move on to our next step. So for this next step, I actually like to put my end caps on first um, before I drill my holes on where the water cups are going to go. So what I'll do is I'll put my end caps on here, get them glued, and then I will insert this in, and then that helps me find my center mark on where I need to drill my holes. So follow the same steps, primer, glue, uh, just put these on, let them dry and set, and then we'll move on to the next step of drilling our holes for our water cups.
right, next step, um, I like to insert the pipes in. I'll do it like this with the words up so that way um, the words will actually be down underneath because that's where we're going to drill in. And I'll just take one of my adapters for the water cups and I just kind of find, so I push them into where I know I'm gonna you know, pretty much be and then I try to find my center. So I kind of know where it's gonna be at and then that will help me to, okay, I'll mark right here and I know I'm gonna drill right there. And then I'll do the same thing over here on this side, figure out exactly where I think I'm gonna be and I'll mark right there. And that is where I'm going to make my drill holes. Okay, so I like to use my trusty vise and I just get it set into place Tighten it down so it's not going to go anywhere and we're going to start drilling. So after you're done drilling, you are going to have like some little shavings and barbs sticking off. So you're really going to want to take care of those. So I just take some really fine sandpaper, sand it down, try to get them as cleaned up as possible before I glue in my adapters. Once you're done um, drilling your hole and getting um, all the shavings and stuff sanded off of it, you kind of want to run your finger in there and just kind of give it a tap to get any of the shavings and stuff out of it. But now you're going to take your cup adapter and it looks like this and that's the part that's obviously going to insert into your hole and then that hooks around the pipe um, so it fits basically just like that. It's really nice. Um, so what you can do is you can take some of the PVC glue. Now I did just the glue um, um, because I wasn't sure, you know, primer was necessary. Um, and after I glue it and it sets up and everything, I even run some silicone just around the edges just to really make sure it's nice and sealed because the chickens will be pushing on the cup and sometimes they stand on the cup and so it really does a lot of tugging on that so I want to make sure it's sealed you know fairly well and the silicone helps with that I haven't had any leaks from around here or the cups so we're gonna run some of the glue on here and I'll just press it in and then what I'll do is I'll squeeze it in my vise just to make sure it's held on nice and tight and I let them set up so I'll do both of those and yeah I'll get back to you Now that you've got your pipes done and the pieces attached to the bottoms, you can take your water cups and these are really simple to find. We got um, a pack off of Amazon, you can get them in um, different size packs, like four packs to six packs, eight packs, however many you want. Um, and it comes with these adapters as well. So what I prefer to do is I like to go ahead and get my cup on so that way I can know when I put my pipe in do I want the cup to be, you know, angled more down? Do I want it to be angled up? Obviously, if you angle it up too far, you're going to have problems with the drainage um, and with them getting the water. So you can either angle it down like more. Um, if you angle it down, you know, lower, then you're going to want to lift up the uh, bottom of the cooler, which we did on our first one. 
we angled it down a little bit more so the cooler did have to be lifted up which we keep our cooler up off the ground anyways we have a brick up underneath it because we just we don't want anything on the ground touching the ground so go ahead and screw in one of your cups just to see where it sits how you like it don't over screw the cups though because if they go too tight then this little uh, rubber seal inside there actually squishes out and then it just drips everywhere it doesn't seal very well so you just want to go just snug enough to where it stays and uh, get it adjusted on there and then you are ready to glue so there's one let's go ahead and get this one on let's see how this one looks just tight enough and then you're gonna glue that side so if you want them to be normal and just rest so you don't have to put it up on top of something you can have it just like that um, but if you want them to angle downwards you would just raise it up a bit put something up underneath it and then that way you can angle your cups down just a little bit more we kind of like to have ours angled down just a smidge more um, but yeah I think that looks fantastic and we'll get it glued together There you have it, we're all done. What do you think? I think it looks pretty awesome. The one thing I did not do is I did not do any of the silicone around the edges because for the life of me, I cannot find my silicone, which is why it wasn't in the main picture. Um, but again, that is optional. You do not have to do that. That's just me being like overly protective of it, like overkill. Um, so if you wanted to get some silicone, you could silicone just around this um, edge of the watercolor or watercolor the water cup coupler maybe yes <laughs> um, but anyways that's it it's simple it's actually really fast um, and the wonderful thing about this is during the winter time um, we are in North Georgia so we still do get some snow sometimes and freezing freezing temperatures um, but I have noticed that our water does not freeze um, in here like a regular one. We do not have to have a heater. Now I imagine up north you may have to Have something maybe around it to extra insulate it or something. I don't know but here in North Georgia in the mountains um, It does just fine. Um, the other wonderful thing about it is it's sealed up top So let me see if I can just try to since it is sealed up top I don't have any issues of bugs or anything getting in there. It stays nice and tight and during the hot hot summer times um it does not grow algae so that is a bonus so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'm going to do some b-roll of what it looks like up close thanks guys bye <laughs>